Okay, uh, sausage rolls. Thought I'd make a few sausage rolls today, and I just thought uh, some people might be uh, might be interested in it. And um, and I've got the inverter running at the minute, so uh, everything's free. I'm cooking on free energy, not so much free gas, but free electric anyway. Um, a small blender. Just going to make some pastry up. I don't know if uh, it'd be interesting to you, but yeah. Anyway, we'll give it a go. So what we got? We got 250 grams of self-raising flour or plain flour, whichever you want. Um, you can add a uh, baking powder to plain flour if you need to. But I've got 250 um, grams of self-raising flour, and then you need a hundred and twenty-five grams of butter. Okay. So it's basically when you're making pastry, it's flour half butter to flour. Okay. Let's blend them two together and we'll get started on that. Oh, a pinch of salt as well. Okay, so I'll just alter the camera so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. gets mixed in but it goes to the to the bottom of the the blender could do with a bigger uh, a bigger bowl on this thing really. but that's broken out a bit let's mix the uh, the butter in nicely is what is uh, well mixed so it's not quite come together, it's still a bit dry. So pop that back together again. Goes in like that. Need a little drop of it. Bring it together. Transferred to um, a bowl. We'll just clear, I think, out the uh, out the mixer. You can do this by hand if you just got a bowl. Um, just uh, put your butter in. Use solid butter for that. I, I melt my butter for this one. It, I find it tends to mix better, but uh, if you've only got a bowl and a wooden spoon type mixing facilities, then um, just crumble the butter in or blend, pull the butter into the pull 
little butter into the, um, the flour and you feel it uh, getting into a crumbly mix. Um, once it feels like a crumbly mix, um, I've made one batch, that's one batch of uh, sausage rolls, so that's basically what we're looking for. Um, but I forgot to uh, put the video on when I was making the flour last time, so it uh, meant that I lost the video. So. Basically bring it together with your hand. It does seem a little dry, which I think it is a little dry there. On the bottom there, it's not too bad there. Pull that together. Just add a little drop more milk. and keep your fingers in the dry flour push the, the dry the wet flour towards or the dry flour towards the wet flour you still get a bit claggy fingers but not quite so bad that's not too bad I'll put the big ball in get it all mixed whoops let's get it all out mix it another thing I think what I need is a bigger bowl really but I haven't got one. I went out shopping and looked for big mixing bowls, but they don't seem to be about like it used to be. Unless you want to go into a high end kitchen supply shop and they want ridiculous money. I had to get a lasagna dish the other day and I couldn't believe what they wanted to pay what they wanted me to pay for a lasagna dish absolutely incredible So bad. All the little bits. That's basically what we're looking at. Bring it into a nice flat ball together. Okay, I'm going to cut that in half with a knife. with a knife like that roll them into separate balls one ball there and one ball there and just drop them into the fridge need to rest in the fridge for about 20 minutes so I'm going to switch you off what I think guys I'm going to do now is well um kettle's boiling to do the dishes um, we need to do a couple of things, get ready for rolling out the pastry and that. We've got one egg, and we're going to break one egg. Separate the yolk from the... Separate the yolk from the, the white. Keep the white down the sink, or we'll keep it for uh, for making um, the 
making a name of it now. Keep it if you want to keep it. I'll chuck them away. If not, you just get a load of manky old egg white left in the fridge. And all I want is the is the the yolk. Okay. All right. So we've got the egg yolk there. That's all okay. Next job we've got is the sausage meat. I'm going to break this up into bits and we're going to make rows. I'll lay rows along here. Probably get four out of there. We'll have to have a look. Probably get four. There's my knife, there's my knife. Right, I'll chop that into four. Like that. Take one piece of it. Drop it on here. What we need to do is make this into like a sausage size line of pork meat so it's a matter of pushing it along so it reaches the end try and keep it all the same size that doesn't look too bad. Pull it back, roll it over a bit, give it a tap, get it all together like that. Roll it over, make sure it's holding together. That's one roll. Okay, same again, stretch it out. I don't know if people still make their own sausage rolls now. I see a lot of sausage rolls in the. I keep wanting to use French words. Um, in French, it's a magazine. Um, in English, it's supermarket. Yeah. Yeah. So, you see a lot of. Uh, as soon as you go in the door, there's all the cakes and the donuts and the sausage rolls and, and all that sort of stuff just inside the door. Um, I tend to like to make my own. I don't know why I've always done it. So, well, not always done it. My wife used to do it. So now I do it. My mum used to do it, my sister used to do it. We've always baked, so it just, uh, you know, always been the way we've done it. And out in France, they do a lot of cooking out there. Lots of blokes cook. Lots of guys you wouldn't think cook. cook. Yeah. They raise their own beef, lamb, pork, whatever it might be, whatever farmer they are, turkey, chicken, and they cook with it. They tend to know their product by cooking with it, so. Yep. And then they invite their friends to come over and eat. They try their product. Probably same in England, I would have thought. There must be farmers here that cook their steaks for their friends. Beef that they... Uh, just wash my hands a minute. Just flick that one around a bit. I'll do the clean up, the washing up from the last time. That one goes over there. It's there. It's good. Wet cloth. Just give 
additional white there. you back to our work surface there. Right, so we've got everything ready to go. That's an old bit of pastry, which I'll probably get rid of that. We don't need that. Right, we can take our pastry out of the fridge. There's our balls of pastry. We'll get the big one first. Drop that one over there. It's okay. Right then, so just a little bit of flour. Little sprinkling. Do us there. Right, push this one down. Lick him over. Rub the flour off. Don't want too much flour on it. Let's just pull it together again. When it's been in the fridge, the outer skin seems to get, you get like an outer skin on it. So. It's a good idea just to lighten it up right. We want to make it into a nice piece. Square it up on the ends. Here we go. Take that of this. Baking tray is there. That's the size of the baking tray we've got, so don't want to make it any bigger than that. So we'll spread them out this way a bit to start with. Put just a little bit of flour on here. Right, we'll spread them out that way a bit. That one over there. Roll them out this way. And that way. Too thick. It is self-raising flour, so it's gonna raise a little. There we go. Yeah, that's not bad. Put that one back over there. Take our take our sausage meat. So we need to straighten the edges up here.
think one of the knives that was owned by my great great granny. They're uh, not sure what they are, but yeah, really really old knife. I used to think um, the family was cooking with this many years ago. I like it because it cuts but it's not sharp. You can't cut your finger with it. It's sort of like just good steel basically. Really just good steel. Right. That's in there. Right. Um, run that one in under there. Lift up the pastry onto the sausage meat. Just like that. That's it. Tuck it right up. And then roll him over. Keep him as tight as you can. Pull this one in. That's it there. That's good there. That's good. Run the knife along there. Leaving just a little bit there. A little bit of egg along here. That just helps to glue it together. Roll him over on top of that. Keep him rolling till your seam comes back up. Then you grab a fork. <coughs> you want a fork with a good spacing on it. And then put your thumb the other side. And just pull it in with your thumb. It's not playing the game. That's it. There you go. Drop the end off there. Drop the end off there. A bit of meat in that bit. Chuck that in the bin. That one there was alright. So that's that. Let's not join together. Oh dear, dear, dear. Mess this one up. Big time. Right then. That's better. It's a bit like when you order that t shirt. You know, the small one, when it should be like a medium one. You know? <laughs> You gotta stretch it a bit. There you go. That's got him. Not the best one, but there you go. Get a grease proof paper. Pick him up. Fire him in the bottom in there. Then give him an egg wash all the way over. down and then I chop them up into three pieces one two three that's about the size sausage rolls I like to use pop that one over there ready for the next one um, I think we'll probably get another one out of that so I'll pull this one back just give them a bit of a roll again yeah that'll do us grab another bit of meat meat on there, put the meat that end, we'll do a stair this time, we'll chop that extra off, like that, and it's just a matter of popping that one down like that, get the knife, just make sure it's off the thing, and this time we'll do it right, try to anyway. start push him over there cut that off roll it over get the fork and just use a fork just to 
Flip the ends over. And that holds it all together nicely there. There you go. Push your meat in the ends. Just trim this end up. It goes in the bin. That's it there. Whoop. This goes into the middle. Egg wash. The whole thing. That one done. There you go. Right, got another two to do. So we'll take that. Just work it together. Just work it together. Take the new roll of pastry. Mix it into the new pastry. Like I say, waste not, want not. Just get it. Soften up a bit. Surprising how hard it goes when it's in the fridge. We could have maybe done with a little bit more. A little bit more milk with it, mix with it, or water mix with it. I find sometimes... If you mix too much milk or water with it, it tends to get a bit leathery. There we go. Should be okay. Let's trim these edges up. All like that. Is that one done? Drop this one in place. Keep him that side. Trim him down there. Trim him down there. Us, run him along like that. Pick him up and over. Pull that pork in. You don't want any gaps in there if you can help with it. Make sure the pork stays in the ends. Bring him over. Over you come. Pull him in tight. Roll him round. That's good there. Egg wash. Get the old glue on there. Do us go over a little, quite a bit. That one. Bring this one back. Pull them around like that. Use the fork. Quite nice. 
nice there. Walk in the middle. Walk at the end. Put them on the baking dish. Egg wash. I'll stick them in a gas mark six. Um, this gas oven's not the best by far, not the best. It tends to burn at the bottom. Um, where am I to your gas oven there? Yeah, about gas mark six. And then we got one row of stuff to go, which I don't think we're gonna get it there. Maybe, I don't know. We'll give it a go. Get rid of that egg. Let's see if we can roll this out a little bit further. Might be able to get him on there. We'll have to see. Oop. May do it. Let's have a go. Oh, looks pretty good, maybe. And then like that. Just about, I think. Just about. I'll just trim him up there, I think. Like that. No, that's not so bad. Plenty of glue on there. That's it there. Roll him over. Pinch that one in there. Right, that's that one ready to go. That one can stay there for a minute. There's the trays full up. We'll get rid of that. Into the bin. That one there goes in the bowl. Okay, go. okay guys, that's the finished product, all oh, come out the uh, thing, and guess what tea is for tea tonight, it's sausage rolls, there you go, not too bad, that's basically in real time, what it took to cook, well thanks for watching, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you can, um, I don't think it costs anything, <laughs> Um, 
Yeah, so uh, may do a Victoria sponge tomorrow, see how I feel. If the blood sugars are down, might go for a, a Victoria sponge. Not as much sugar as you'd normally put in one, but um, yeah, you can make a Victoria sponge. Very sure the ones I've got in the oven. Yep, so maybe see you tomorrow with a Victoria sponge. Bye.